I got another box. I got another box. Yeah. As you can see, it's Area 22. So if you've watched my uh, my Grom mods video, you know I had Area 2 clamps and handlebars. And they were pretty sweet. So I have these. Put down in the comments now. Don't cheat. Put down in the comments what you think it is. But we're going to get into this. If I sound ill, it's because I am. I've got some, I think it's just man flu. Some cold, throat, achy, itchy, horribleness. It's not itchy, it's just hurts. Yeah. Um, yeah, we've got, there's tape on it because I've blurred out obviously the details and shit. But Area 22 performance parts, you can probably guess what it is if you're smart enough to realise what I had left and you probably just saw it there. Yeah, it's my rear sets. I was gonna go for some Logitech, I think ones. Um, they were 300 quid, and I was like, okay, I'll, I'll spend a lot of money on them, but they look nice. And then while I was on the website, I was like, I'm gonna buy them now. Put in the details and whatnot, and then clicked on them, and then went to my basket, and they added an extra, I think, like 100 quid because of VAT. So yay! So I went with Area 22 instead because I know their stuff is a real good. Right, um, I need a knife. BRB. I couldn't find a knife, so this is what we're working with. Okay, I couldn't find a knife, so this is what we're working with. It will, it will do. But, uh, let's go from the bottom. I can do more with my hands than this spoon. Ha, I'm spooning. Ha. Okay, sort that. But I found a knife. Ready? Oh, so much easier. Just, just, so much easier. Do you know what? Screw it. How much can we do by hand? No, no, that's as far as I got. My muscles ran out. I should really just make my life easier and just get all this set of tape off. There we go. Jump back. Jump. I keep knocking the camera, I'm sorry. I'm doing a terrible job on unboxing. Brah. 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 I could never be in an unboxing channel. Ooh, what's this? I didn't cut through it, did I? Cause that would be fucking awkward. Uh, what's this? Oh, is this for the break and stuff? I'm really, really worried that there was supposed to be something on the end of that and I broke it. Awkward. I hope I didn't. Oh god. Okay. Right. Ah! I dropped some bits. A knife out of here. Be gone with you, boy. They best have got me some stickers. You know I love stickers. Ooh, look. Area 22. I'm not sponsored. I wish I was. Thank you for your purchase. Check out my eBay store on blah, 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 blah. Bye. Hold on. I'm just going to get you to read this important thing that's on here. Important. It's words and stuff www.area22performance.com Bitch! Right, this best be stickers. Yay! Stickers! I like it, the stickers. There's quite a lot of stickers. You got big one, little one, little one, big one, big one, little one, little one, big one. I like it, the stickers. So, if you didn't know, I actually had rear sets for my KTM Duke, but I never put them on. Uh, yeah, bits and bobs. Um, Oh, they're, they're lightweight, so that's what I like. I do like the lightweightness. Ooh, fancy. Look at the red. Look at the fanciness. Ooh, Area 22. Very nice. Hmm. They're really lightweight. Good quality on them. Cheapies. They were, they were 150, I think, so, you know. Almost free, well, no, yeah, pretty much 300 quid cheaper than the Logitech ones, but we'll end up seeing what the quality is like. Hmm. 
not bad. I went for the black and red because obviously that's kind of the colour scheme I'm going for, isn't it? The black or the red and the, the silver wrist, the like stock wrist sets are just uh, ugly. So I wanted to get some black ones. Not too worried about like getting a super sporty feel. I know I've got the Vortex clip ons, but that's just because I wanted them. <laughs> if I'm honest, I'm not too worried about getting getting it super sporty. I kind of am and I kind of ain't. But, um, yeah, these are adjustable. Uh, I don't want to break it. Um, these are adjustable, it looks like. So, yeah. I'm probably not going to fit this because I don't like playing with brakes. So, I may take this to somewhere to get it. Maybe. Uh, but there's no instructions. And there's the O-ring. Um, the person that I normally take it to is a bit of a... Uh, when I took, I took my rear sets to get... Done by the K uh, my KTM rear sets to get done by him, and he was just like, "Oh, is there any instructions and stuff?" I went, "Mate, you must have fitted some rear sets before, so I'll go somewhere else to get them fitted." I think, or I may do it myself. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, that's, that's there's not a lot. Oh wait, we've got one more bit. Ah, uh, I dropped it again. I've made a mess here. This is like the worst unboxing ever. I've already showed you that bit. Um, ooh, ooh, that feels nice. That feels real nice. I should really try and keep it all together. Uh, I'm losing all the small bits. Now, this was one bit, like, why I chose Air 22 over some other ones. Is because of these bad boys. Now, these are almost identical to the uh, passenger pegs that I got. So that matches amazingly. I wanted some fold-up ones, so just in case I did go down, they don't, like, destroy these, but... Unfortunately, I couldn't find any decently priced ones, but these will do. They look sweet, and the grip on that is just lush. I can't wait to get these on. But yeah, that's the Aero 22 rear set for your Yamaha R3. I highly recommend Aero 22. They are awesome. So, um, yeah, if you can get Aero 22 in America, definitely go for them. Really recommend them. They're uh, good price, well valued. And pretty sweet, so yay! I like this set. Bye. Sweet there, yeah. 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 I was like that that piece of metal made everything fucking ten I times. Um, worst case scenario is if it does move, you can always say, oh well that's what's gonna be crap to that. Yeah. Bring it in with weld it on Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. Okay. Well knock these off. Perfect. That much. 
Yeah. On that. On that. Yeah. Well, basically, so it's Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Line up there. Yeah, okay, if it does get done today, or it looks like it's going to get done today, yeah. we'll let you know when to pop in and pick it up. Sweet. All right. Perfect. All right. Thanks for that. See ya. Right, guys. I can't recommend these guys highly enough. Literally popped down this morning with my exhaust and they were like yeah we can get that done basically the two pipes didn't fit so I needed usually get I was gonna get hammered or welded or whatever they literally went to the storage bit and was like oh here's a piece of metal fit that on oh look it fitted snug as a bug like it, it, you couldn't make it up how well that fitted took that home measured it all up it was like yeah that's perfect so they're gonna cut it for me weld it in the piece and that will my exhaust will be ready then and I can put it on so <laughs> they are awesome M and B brake press LTD thank you guys can't recommend them highly enough they are awesome I'm so happy that by doing this R3 project I've met some really good companies I mailed the JHS company who sold me the M4 exhaust um, and they were fucking amazing. They helped me out loads, and now this company, I will definitely be coming back here to get some welding done and stuff like that. I might even see if they can uh, teach me how to do some welding because I always wanted to do some welding. I wonder if oh no, they got a camera up there. I was gonna pop a wheelie. Best not risk it, I suppose. Yeah, this R three project is getting there now. The exhaust should be either done today or tomorrow. That guy I was speaking to is uh, met his old man earlier. He was the one who's gonna gonna get it done but he's just popped out so if he comes back a bit earlier or whatever you might be able to get it done but if not today then tomorrow so that's sweet as chips and it may look really nice out today it's fucking freezing my nipples are literally like diamonds right now I could pierce through glass so fucking cold oh hello Roast this Ford indicator bro at least they did do a head check I saw the head move so you get half a point that's a good little fun section of the road <laughs>